All right. This is the September 23rd, 2021 Nintendo Direct. I have no expectations. I'm trying to have no expectations. I really hope for something good. Because as it stands right now, people are losing it about all this Smash and about all these uh, Metroid and Crash 4 and this and that. I'm... I don't care. For a second, I thought that was Monster Hunter. <laughs> it kind of looked... The creature kind of like Monster Hunter. Oh, that's Monster Hunter! Oh, bro. That's Rise. Rise expansion? This got to be the Rise expansion. What is that? I don't know why I didn't expect us to hear about an update for Rise. This is G-Rank. This has got to be G-Rank. That do look cool. Ooh, that's sick. That's sick. That's sick. Y'all got me. Summer. I'm ready. I am ready. That's all y'all have to show. That's that's literally that's it. I can turn it off now. That was like that was one hell of a stinger to just open up with. I yeah, come on. Come on. Sunbreak. That's sick. Sunbreak sounds so cool. Mario Party? I assume. Okay, the party superstars. Okay. You know, I wish Mario Party was more fun. Like, it's fun in, like, a way that makes you hate everybody you're playing the game with. Maybe I'm just a spoil sport. Like, I play, I like co-op. I like a co-op before that. Okay. I'm with that. I can live with that. I'm cool with that. I know, I, my friend, who, she loves Mario Party. I can see this working out. I can see this being good. I have no idea what that is. Oh, maybe it's because it's new? I can assume. A quiet monster. That's cute. <laughs> that, that's cute. Huh. Interesting. That's cool. If it's good or not, I have no idea, but like it looks cool. I like the concept. See, a tabletop style RPG using cards. Like a D6 system. <laughs> like, that seems kind of cool. That That's not really telling me much. What is this art style? There's a game that reminds me of this. Like, it's like painted. Like, it, it's like being painted. Like, everything looks like a painting. But I can't think of what game that is. Hmm. Disco Elysium. I've never seen that game before, but the fact that it's the final cut implies that this was like a game that was out already. But like I've, I've never seen that game before, but the name sounds familiar. You know what? As much as I know that there are people who screamed up and down for Dynasty Warriors style Zelda game, all seven of them probably, I'm surprised they haven't made a Pokemon spinoff. Like, we got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. You've got Pokemon uh, Tekken. We got Pokemon Con Construct, not Conflict. What is that game called? Conquest. We got Pokemon Conquest. This dude just did a Jutsu? Sorry, I'm getting distracted by this man doing a Jutsu. I'm surprised they haven't just done a Dynasty Warrior style Pokemon game. I feel like that'd be easy too. Considering they just have a huge roster of characters, many of which are very recognizable. They can even do this, this expansion pass thing if they really wanted to. At least it is retaining the art style and stuff of the game that it's being based on. The fact that it's this it's like Breath of the Wild style. That's cool. Chocobo? Ch Chocobo? Racing? This was like a thing before, wasn't it? It's like a PS1 game or something? It's just like Final Fantasy Mario Kart. Okay. 
you know, honestly, seeing this, it makes me tempted to get this or play this with somebody just to see how close the game feel is to Mario Kart. You know, this is giving me Mario Kart 8. With a lot more personality, though. I wouldn't say a lot more. I guess it's just different. That's cool. All right. See, all those people getting mad. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments. Oh, they're so upset. Oh, three years since the game was released. They're so sad. Last presentation about Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Come on now, that's like a week and a half. Relax. It's like two weeks away. They're like, no. Is this that uh, Shin Megami Tensei game? Oh, I don't know what this is. Maybe uh, Splatoon? Yeah, this is giving me Splatoon. My boy. New Kirby? Like, new, new Kirby? 3D Kirby? Like, I'm with it. So far. I like it. When was the last time we had a, a 3D Kirby? I honestly can't think of any time we've had like a 3D 3D Kirby. Like a platforming 3D adventure. I feel like this is cool. I feel, okay, so this looks really nice. I feel like maybe it's just the way that it is coming out in like this as a direct as like a video like a trailer things don't feel like they have as much of an impact as i think they should but that could just be the way the sound is mixed for this being in the trailer that makes sense that was the truth. that's cool y'all so just had this in your pocket then like <laughs> they had to have just had this sitting we have this to show you coffee shop was that not an animal crossing New Horizons already? I haven't played it much since last year. Oh, okay. So this is more so an announcement of the Direct. I feel like Animal Crossing is a fun game in that it feels like you're doing chores. And so you play it for a while, enjoying the fact that it's like cute and atmospheric and relaxing. And then eventually you just stop because, like, I'm literally just turning on a game to do extra chores. Why would I do that? It wasn't already playable? I never played it. I wanted to. I, I was genuinely thinking about getting this. See, that's what you like to see. The best kind of direct is the one where they tell you right after this. You know, y'all can't just show envelopes. <laughs> y'all can't show envelopes on a Nintendo Direct. Why do you feel like reused Kingdom Hearts assets from the PlayStation 2 era? Was this a uh, Knights of the Old Republic? Mm. Is this is this the one that's getting a remake on everything else? I never understood having a, a port of an old game on a, a system like the Switch and then having you have to do pre-orders for it. Like, just put it up. They're talking like this is like a super advanced something. Like, y'all done probably had this file sitting here for how long? Okay, so another game that doesn't actually run on the Switch, so you have to have good internet and just stream it? That's dumb. I don't understand what their insistence is on this. Like, I don't know anybody who has actually played any of these streaming-only games. Like, wouldn't it be just... Wouldn't it be better to just not have the game on the system? So, is this version... This feels like this could actually be on the Switch. Yeah, like, that's trash. Who wants a Cloud version? 
the whole point of the Switch is that it's a console that's both portable and like dockable at home, like a home console. Why would I want a game that I have to have like connected to the Ethernet to play? This is that game they were talking about before. I wasn't like excited about that one, but I guess like it's cool. These include adjustments to the difficulty, improvements to on-screen visuals, camera angle control. Was that stuff not in the game already? These seem like things that should have been in the game already, except maybe the having past dialogue able to be read. That's nice. Okay, some more dread. Some more dread. Like, I don't like the whole backtracking nature of Metroid and like Castlevania and games like that, but I respect Metroid so much. Like, this looks like it's going to be good. So this guy with like the beak, is he like a Chozo? Is he like the bird guys? You know, like like Samus's parents, the bird people. So yeah, this is a true continuation. I know it's just like a limitation of us being human beings on a planet with like a limited number of things, but part of me relishes like I want to see a time where we don't split up environments of a thing into like forest, desert, volcano, water level. You know what I mean? It's like I get that it's kind of hard to, to pick other things and they, they're kind of like video game staples, but like, give me something else. Like, remember Sonic Mania? They had like the Wild West level. Okay, it's like a desert, but it's more focused on like saloon environments and stuff. And then they had the press garden, which was like a like a paper printing place. I don't even know how to get into that. Oh, oh, with a new plan. Sixty four games. Is so is this gonna? Okay, you probably got to pay more from the way they said that. So that makes sense. It makes sense for them to put that in here now. Really? Really? You can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. What? That is a that is a trip. That is a genuine The new plan will include all elements. I How is okay, so what's just just say it plainly, please. So how much a year is that? That's kind of nice to be able to just play Genesis and uh, 64 games, though. It's nice to be able to play Yoshi's Story again. Rystar! Rystar and Sonic 2. The one I already own. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. F-Zero game on the Switch. <laughs> Pokemon Snap, though. Wow. Switch. So are these just like USB? Both can be used wirelessly. Wireless USB? These controllers will be available I'm not about to spend $50 on no controller, but still. Where's the Battle Network collection? What is this? <laughs> what is this? No disrespect. It's not Battle Network. I don't want to hear it. When I get a Battle Network HD collection, that's when I'm going to care. That's that, that's nice. That's nice that there's a Castlevania collection on here with quick saves and stuff. Yeah, that's that's cool. If see if I like that style of game, I would be super excited probably. Is is it Battle Network? I didn't think so. I have never heard of this game. I'm not gonna say like, oh, who, who the heck? Like, I am 29. I don't remember classic NES anything, frankly, except for any, the stuff ported to Game Boy Color. That sounds cool, though. 
flourishing civilization. No disrespect, like that does sound cool. Kind of like got some tower defense stuff going on in there, it looks like. Oh, all those 50 year olds. Ooh, good for y'all. <laughs> oh, wow, Undertale 2 Electric Boogaloo. How long are these chapters for them to be releasing themselves split apart like that? So I got being on Tumblr for as long as I was, Undertale and its extended universe of games made by Toby Fox. I lost interest in showing any kind of attempt to play those games. I know they're good, but I, I just can't. All right, this is cool. I don't know what, what's going on in it though. Paradox. Okay, surviving the aftermath is like a real time strategy, maybe? So, the uh, SMT5. It looks good. Wreckfest. Where's Wipeout? Or no, whatever that game is called. I can't think of what the name is. I want to say it was Wipeout. But also, that's making me think of like a water game. So maybe not wipe out. Miyamoto -san. Oh! What brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Is it a Mario game? Are you telling me about Mario, Mr. Miyamoto? Miyamoto trailer for Mario? Mario movie for the big screen. Are we getting a trailer for Mario? I wanted to announce it's uh... So next year. The movie will be released in the movie. I hate that. I hate everything about that. What kind of movie is this? Mario will be talking a lot in the movie. Please look forward to Mario. Let let old let old man Parthenon next voice the, the the plumber. Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Taylor Joy. I don't know who that is to have an opinion and know if I should be outraged or not. Mario's little brother Luigi will be played by Charlie Day. As much as I want to continue being upset, that's fine. I just don't know how this movie is going to be. Okay, so Chris Pratt made me mad. Bowser might be winning me over. Really? Is it, cause, is, is it because he's bald? <laughs> oh, I'm Donkey Kong. I smoke weed. Like, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved. He's involved. In surprise cameos in the movie. He shouldn't be cameoing. He should be Mario. More incredible <sighs> joining the film to play some of our other beloved. What is happening? This is like a big prank, right? I imagine, since you guys got Chris Pratt and Jack Black. Again. Again. <laughs> Don't want to admit that, do you? Okay, finally some Splatoon for the Splatoon folks. What? Okay. Like a crab mech? I don't know if it's just the, like the fact that it's a multiplayer game. I think because it's a multiplayer game with like live service elements, I could never really truly be invested in Splatoon as a game. Purely because like it's a game where I know like I could come back to it like three years from now and it won't be the same. It'll be missing things and people won't be there. Like it's just some about it. It's just. But it got impeccable art style and music, though. You know who they should have work on the soundtrack for this? For any Splatoon future or the current? Hideki Naganuma. Tell me it wouldn't be fire. So we got like three minutes left. What else you got? What did you think? Splatoon 3 taking place in a new world. 
is scheduled to release in 2022. Like most things. Please look forward to Regan. I'm waiting for somebody cool with a sword to pop up because this feels like a thing where somebody with a sword should pop up. Oh no, there's another one behind you. Once you realize that your weapons have no effect, why would you keep shooting? That seems like it will be a situation to retreat immediately. Uh, Bayonetta? No, Spectral Chain. That's like the dog mascot from Spectral Chain. Bayonetta? What? Please, please. Let me see her. Oh, <laughs> as, as always. I love it. I have no idea what's going on, but I love it. So this is Ceresa, right? She just got a different haircut? Fighting aliens now? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Come on, uh. So these ain't angels, right? These just, these look like aliens. I say that because they're green. Ooh, looking awful youthful right now. Ooh, that's cool. I'm on, I'm so on board. You know, I never got to play Bayonetta 1 or 2, but like they look like a good time. Like the first one you get to fight God and punch her in the face and punch her into the sun. And the second one, I have no idea what it's about, frankly. I just know you get to get Peach costume. When is the release date? This looks good. When's the release date? It's been four years. Of, why am I even asking? Of course it's gonna be next year. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Is that Virgil? <laughs> Is that Virgil from Devil May Cry? Well, they got me at the end. They got me at the end. That bayonet, that, that that got me. That 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 got me.